At the northernmost area of the Leeward Antilles sits Anguilla, a British overseas territory whose flag, blue ensign aside, always fascinated me. Look, it's three dolphins doing the sickest pirouette in the air. It also stands out, blue ensigns aside, among the British overseas territory's flags because of how simple its charge is. It might as well be the design of a flag, right? Because it actually was. They call this the dolphin flag, and it was officially flown in the Republic of Anguilla from 1967 to 1969. Since the century prior, Anguilla had been a part of the Crown Colony of St. Christopher and Nevis, later renamed to reflect their place in the territory. The colony waved this flag since December 1958, a blue ensign charged with the arms of the colony, which they were granted just a year prior. In 1967, however, Anguilla had had enough of being a part of St. Kitt's colony. After some efforts of separation, they declared the independence of the Republic of Anguilla on July 12th of that year. Soon, they needed a flag to replace the actually attractive new design the colony got a few months prior. And so they decided to one-up this flag with a cloth they called the mermaid flag. By the way, I lied about the one-up thing. Also, I don't really need to explain much of its symbolism, right? Needless to say, the populace wasn't too fond of this design, and a new flag was designed for the Republic instead. On September 29, 1967, they unveiled the newly designed dolphin flag for the Republic of Anguilla. Much better, I'd say. In it, the dolphins each represent a fundamental value of the nation. Endurance, unity, and strength. Values which support the orange color. They're set on a white background that symbolizes peace and tranquility. And below them, there's a light blue stripe which represents faith, youth, and hope. As well as the sea, of course. Unfortunately, this flag didn't hold official status for too long. In 1969, the British powers arrived to the island, forcing the chairman of Anguilla to flee the island and effectively gaining control over the island back, annexing it to the St. Kitts colony once more. However, in 1980, Anguilla was formally allowed to secede from St. Kitts and become its own crown colony. They waved the Union flag after this, until 1990, when they decided they shouldn't simply have the Union Jack as their flag. So, having the old but golden design of the Dolphin flag, what was the best suggestion for a flag for Anguilla? To move the Union Jack to the Canton, of course. Oh and also deface that with a shield that incorporates a dolphin flag design. And it was a great decision! This way, they're sticking to the endearing dolphin flag without presenting Her Majesty with a design that reeked of the independentist ways of the past. Soon enough, they also made that shield the coat of arms of the territory, 